Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2126, which is a hard level and a timed level. So we start from the map screen and we see we've got three columns of candies. And that very center column uh, we're going to want to focus on because it's under a uh, question mark dispenser. And then of course the sides we're going to want to focus on because that'll help us open up that frosting and get through that licorice and to the plus five candies that are way off to the side in those dispensers. Uh, we have a lot of work to do. This is my seventh playthrough for recording purposes, so it's not easy at all. We're going to hope that as we make this, see I'm going to make a nice cascade here. As we make these, we're going to hope that we might be able to get some color bombs on the board because, oops, color bombs, we get color bombs and other specials. And I said, oops, because I was talking so much I couldn't pay attention to what my next move was, so I had to hit quit. But I haven't quit. I'm just waiting for the board to show me. As long as it's not entirely under this banner here, I can see what my next move is and then hit play on. Whoops. Gosh. My mouse isn't... My fingers aren't working with my mouse. It's not my mouse. It's my fingers. Here we go. Now those question marks, because they can be evil, I don't want to open them up right under the dispenser if I can prevent it. Because if they're, you know, five layer thick frosting, that's not going to help. And there I did open it, but it's turned out okay. Ah, look at this. And we've got our plus fives, so we've got more extension here. Plus now we have an opportunity to see if that color bomb will beget other color bombs and specials or just the opportunity to bring down more of those, yep, there we go, those question marks. Okay, I like blue as an option. And then even after this ends, uh, and I run out of time, even if I don't have enough points, I'm going to um, allow the board to finish playing through, because I will get points for everything I have on the board that is created but not collected. And plus, it could then, oh nice, create a um, an entire cascade on its own. So there we go. That should be enough to beat this level. Notice I don't pay as much attention to the plus fives as I might. I'm more interested in those question marks because uh, the question marks are what's going to determine whether or not I um, get enough points. Oops. And remember, those plus fives that I leave on the board afterward will give me points. They'll turn into wrapped candies. I can't see what my next move is. So I just wait around. Oh, there it is. Play on. I just want to hit quit. Ah, oh, that would be awful. <laughs> because this is my eighth playthrough for recording purposes. I think my seventh or my eighth, but I think it's my eighth. If I already said seventh, then I just counted the seventh one twice. All right, so that's how I beat this level. Certainly not easy at all. Uh, if you need to calm down before you do a timed level, take give yourself breaks in between or just hit that pause button. If you need energy, use your adrenaline. If you lose, just jump right back into the next level. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.